We keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we are curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new path. A wonderful good evening to everyone gathered here. Dignitaries, invited guests, teachers, parents and dear students. Evenings are life's way of saying that you are close to your dreams. As we know, convocation is a celebration of the accomplishments of students but at the same time it is also a celebration of the accomplishment of the faculty members, staff members and the external community. We the faculty of JMJ School and College of Nursing consider as an immense pleasure to welcome you all to the 8th convocation of our 35th, 36th and 37th batches of GNM, 15th, 16th and 17th batches of BSc and 10th, 11th and 12th batches of MSc Nursing of JMJ School and College of Nursing. May we request the audience to rise as the academic procession begins. The procession is led by guard of honor by school and college leaders, students in different cultural costumes resembling the four horizons of our nation, graduates and postgraduates, faculty and principal, guests and dignitaries. exciting of any student's life. 
as it returns the effort of their entire academic endeavor and it is steeped with a sense of achievement and fulfillment. And most importantly, it makes them work harder to build a successful career ahead. We request the gathering to kindly take their seats. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John chapter 1, verses 5. To make this evening a graceful one, let us invoke God's presence by kindling the lamp of knowledge and wisdom, for seeking the choicest blessings for the same. We request the audience to kindly rise as we invite our dignitaries, Sri Dr. Rajshekar Vardarajan Garu, Reverend Sister Mukta Kes, Reverend Sister Shauri Teresa T, Reverend Dr. Sister Lalita K, Reverend Sister Bandavi, Professor Mrs. Sarla Sharla, MSc Student Representative Mr. Raju, BSc Student Representative Ms. Binsi, GNM Student Representative Ms. Natasha to light the lamp and enlighten the occasion.
we request the audience to take their seats. Prayer is the link that connects us with God. So to enlighten us and brighten this evening, here comes Ms. Sirisha, BSc student, along with her choir, with a rhythmic and melodious prayer song to cherish our souls and to invoke God's presence amidst us.
Thank you girls for taking us into divine spiritual realm. Dance is a series of steps and movements that match the speed and rhythm of a piece of music. Now we invite our students to welcome the gathering and mesmerize us with their dance skills. Please welcome them with a huge round of applause. Tadim tadim tirana, 
That was certainly an elegant performance. How captivating poetry of footsteps, a blend of cosmic tune and divine music. Thank you girls for your gracious performance. I am delighted to extend a warm welcome to you all at this wonderful milestone in JMG calendar. As we celebrate the achievements of our students, this is an unusual ceremony in an extraordinary time, which reminds us of the symbol of joy of being together. I am Mrs. Vinita. And I am Mrs. Sunita. The faculty of JMJ consider it a great privilege to extend a hearty and warm welcome to you all to the 8th convocation of JMJ School and College of Nursing. I am profusely elated to welcome our President of the Day, Reverend Sister Mukta Kes, Provincial Superior, C. JMJ Hyderabad, for joining us today to enhance our joy. Welcome you, sister. We feel honored to have the Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency, Sri Dr. Rajshekar Vadrajan Garu. Sir, you hardly need any introduction. You have made all of us proud of your distinguished work in numerous capacities. Welcome you, sir. I'm, I'm immensely pleased to welcome our guest of honor, Reverend Dr. Sister Lelita K. for this convocation ceremony. Welcome you, Sister. I considered it a great honor to welcome Reverend Sister Shauri Teresa, CJMJ Hyderabad, to this convocation ceremony. Welcome you, Sister. I take this privilege to welcome our beloved principal, Reverend Sister Bhantavi Sika, for this convocation ceremony. Welcome you, Sister. Finally, I would like to welcome all the sisters, faculty, parents, and dear students for this auspicious day. There are people who make things happen. There are people who watch things happen. And there are people who wonder what happened. To be successful, you need to be a person who makes things happen. Now it is a moment to divulge the success story of JMJ School and College of Nursing. May we request Reverend Sister Bandavi, Principal JMJ School and College of Nursing, to present the annual report. Now it is a
good evening respected dignitaries of the dais dr rashekar vadrajan garu reverend sister mukta kes our provincial superior sister lalita and sister shauri tisa our counselors sister nirmala our superior and all my dear sisters parents well wishers benefactors and my dear graduates and all dear students i am here to present the report of our college and school of nursing and i thank each one of you for being here and witnessing this great day the convocation sorry for the interruption the annual report of james school and college of nursing 2122 it's the convocation of the day and the annual report is being presented by the principal of the college of nursing So a warm and hearty welcome once again for this convocation ceremony to our Reverend Sister Mukta, the Provincial Superior, and Dr. Rajshekar Garu, General Physician and Film Actor and Producer, Sister Shauri Chiza, our Finance Counselor, Sister Lalita, our Health Counselor. So it's my pleasure to present our annual report on this significant day. our report illustrates immense range of teaching learning and research activities together with the existing achievements undertaken at jmg school of nursing and college of nursing in the past years we remain ever grateful to the management for being a part of our standards keeping track of all the splendid achievements of our school and college of nursing today we gratefully remember our blessed founder of the congregation of jesus mary joseph reverend father mathias wolf sj and the pioneers who through their tremendous commitment sustained the life of jmj and paved the way for us to the part of fit as at present we are glad to bring to your kind attention that we have recently completed 200 years of our congregation existence from 1822 to 2022 we remain ever grateful to our founder and all the stewards of our congregation the charism of our congregation the spirit of jmj emanates from its founder mathias wolf in this charism ever adaptable apostolic availability reverend father wolf said he, he the hallmark of the sisters of jmj is living in the spirit of jesus Yava James sister is called to involve herself in the plan of salvation like Mary and Joseph building God's kingdom of love. The vibrant charism of James J impelled our sisters to devote themselves with compassion and render loving services sick humanity and prepare nurses who are endured with Christian values of love care and share. That tiny seed of James J that was sown in Guntur in 1904 nourished with the great love and generosity by the missionaries and no less by the daughters of the soil had grown and branched out to the various parts of the country st teresa's is one of such branches which took roots in hyderabad in 1972 sister mary glory the servant of god mine was now the privilege to rise up in haste and cross not the hills but the seas and carry jesus to many a mother and child jmj healthcare ministry vows its gratitude to the nun who revolutionized the care of the sick in india sister dr mary glory the servant of god 
She was the first sister doctor to practice medicine in India and the founder of Catholic Health Association of India and inspiration behind St. John's Medical College, Bangalore. Our vision and mission, JMJ Nursing Institutes are centers for excellence in nursing education, geared towards preparation of creative, caring and competent nursing professionals by an expression of Christian concern for health and well-being of the society. Our mission as JMJ Nursing Institutes are committed to the development of nursing professionals of global standards, having a high sense of scholarship and a deep commitment to the service of the humanity. I must begin with great pleasure that we began the regular program after the COVID pandemic as the students are in full swing to carry on their responsibilities and regular in their curriculum as per the norms of Indian Nursing Council and KNR University of Health Sciences, Warangal. So last two, three years, we didn't have the convocation. That's the reason why we have gathered all these past three years students. Because of the pandemic, we could not conduct the convocation. And that's the reason why we are here today. So after the COVID pandemic, we started the regular programs of our institutions. And the students have entered the campus after, after the COVID. I have. Wah, wah. Check it out, yo. Wah, wah. I break it down. Yeah, yeah. I check it out, yo. Wah, wah. I break the beat back. Come on. Just come and dance with me. Wah, wah. Check it out, yeah. So I am privileged to inform that we have achieved great achievement of having students from all over the country. That from 23 states we have the students in this campus for both general nursing, BSc nursing and MSc nursing. Thank you. So our strength and our program of the year and the students intake. General nursing we have 45 intake, BSc nursing we have 50 intake and MSc nursing 25 intake for each year. This is our result. At the end of fi final year, all achieve the good 10% of result and move from here from the campus. So we have all the facilities as we are sitting here, a big beautiful auditorium, a beautiful library and with the digital library and the dining hall, newly we have established a few years back and now well established for all the facilities for all the students. We also equipped the labs with new um, mannequins in the OBG lab and fundamental labs. And we have affiliations to different hospitals, having our own parental hospitals and Teresa's hospital. And beside that, we also send the students to different hospitals of the government sectors, like Gandhi Hospital, ESI Sanatnagar, Institute of Mental Health, Nilo for Child Health Hospital, and Government Maternity Hospital, Koti, Nimhans, Nims from uh, Panjagutta, Shivananda Rehabilitation Center, Kokadpalli, Nimhans in Bangalore for mental health exposure, and Rusha CMC Vellore. We also do conduct NSS programs for our students and update them with all the nature and the programs that are conducted by the university. We involve the students in conducting the programs. So we have also uh, students groups for the practices and also the competitions that are conducted for the say, uh, annual programs of the students. And we do conduct in four groups, that is Glory Group, Nightingale Group, Teresa Group and Matthias Wolf Group. So we have different committees like Cultural Committee, Educational, Disciplinary, Anti-Ragging Committee, Liturgy Committee, Mess Committee and Recreation Committee. Cultural Committee. All these committees are divided between the groups of each student, all the batches of the students, and we do conduct the programs accordingly. SNA activities. Every year, in month of May, we have 12th May, Nightingale's birthday we celebrate. On the day, we have these competitions before that, and then we do the, give the prizes for the students. 
we also observe the national international events day that is like example world aids day world hypertension day world's blood bank donation day world youth day and also simultaneously the 15th and 26th august we do conduct the programs for our students so recently we had international women's day on month of march on the theme break the bias c sirisha raghavendra additional dcp she teams was invited here and motivated the students how to protect themselves and how to be aware of their own life styles so these are some of the programs that we conduct special camp we conduct in the rural areas we do take the students to rural and urban postings and in the rural shamshabad villages we are, we have adapted and the students go there and conduct the health programs school health programs and then they live there along with the people for one week and then come back we also conduct the spiritual and most motivational uh, talks for the students for the welfare of the spiritual development of the students so mr ramesh pitla advocate on women safety measures he has given guidelines for our students and we are also conducting the occupational english test from the university of cambridge and the students who are going abroad overseas mission or overseas programs they have the facilities to write the exams of oet and then get selected and go abroad we have recently um, installed a water plant second one in the hostel for the drinking safe drinking water facilities and we have recently updated with the lift in our auditorium and uh, i am also a sna advisor of the state of telangana and i have visited the tni branch in delhi along with the team of telangana So our strength are our faculty. We do take faculty and students for the picnics yearly, and state nation, national conference and international conferences we do attend by the faculty and the students, and also the students conduct the programs. Our faculty do the publications of their own thesis. Recently, we have conducted a second TNA conference. of the state of telangana in our auditorium and we are privileged to have the bicentenary celebrations of our own congregation started holland by our founder father matthias wolf and we were privileged to have that celebrations by the congregation in this auditorium in our campus so on 31st a uh, 24th we had also conference from the msc students have conducted the conference around 400 Uh, participants were in the auditorium here who participated in the conference our future goals aiming at post bsc nursing the students who complete the general nursing are aspiring to do the post bsc nursing after which they will be uh, eligible to do their msc nursing so the process is began and we are striving towards that and also to develop oet coaching center we have only examination center for the oet of the cambridge university and we are also striving to have the coaching center in our own premises so regular curriculum and affiliations are carried on with the parental hospital and other government hospitals we are happy to have the affiliations also from esi all the festivals and celebrated according to the culture of the state national and international events are celebrated and observed thank you for your patient listening thank you sister for presenting us through the accomplishments of jmj school and college of nursing a graduation ceremony is an event where thousands of students dressed in identical caps and gowns The commencement speaker tells that individuality is the key to success. Now we call upon Professor Mrs. Jayashree, JMJ School and College of Nursing, 
to welcome the gathering. cheer and great welcome makes a merry feast. A joyful evening to all. I, Mrs. Jayasri, MSA faculty, takes this great opportunity. A joyful evening to all. I, Mrs. Jayasri, MSc faculty, takes this great opportunity to extend a hearty and warm welcome to you all. For the 8th convocation of our 34th, 35th and 36th batch of GNM and 15th, 16th, 17th batch of BSc Nursing and 10th, 11th and 12th batch of MSc Nursing of JMJ School and College of Nursing. Indeed, it is a majestic feast to the eyes to see that so many of you took out time from your busy schedule to be here to celebrate the graduation ceremony. From the bottom of our hearts, we express our sincere gratitude for being here on this auspicious evening. On behalf of JMJ family, I extend a solicit and inclusive welcome to all of you. To a person who has truly humility, words are us. The prize of greatness is responsibility. We are privileged and honored to have in our midst Reverend Sister, M Sister Mukta Case, Provincial Superior, as our President. Let's welcome Sister with a huge round of applause as we invite to add on the dayas. I call upon Ms. Sarya to escort Sister on the dayas. We welcome you, Sister. Sister Mukta is a native of Chhattisgarh. She has completed a Bachelor of Theology at Vidya Jyoti, New Delhi. And Sister is a teacher by profession and work in a various positions. She has been a compass that activates the magnets of enthusiasm, knowledge and wisdom. 
Now, at present, Sister Mukta is serving as a provincial superior for the congregation of JMJ. She has been exceptional in fulfilling her duties, is resourceful, passionate, and persistent. We are delighted to have a personality with numerous motivating traits among us, Sister. May I request Sister Nirmala, Assistant Professor, to welcome Sister with a sapling. Thank you, Sister. I am profoundly delighted to take an opportunity to introduce the Chief Guest, Sri Dr. Rajashekar Vadarajan Garu, Indian actor and producer, known for his work in Telugu and Tamil movies. We are privileged to have you among our midst. Let's welcome sir with a huge round of applause as we invite to add on the dais. Dr. Rajashekar sir was born in Lakshmipuram, Teni district of Tamil Nadu in a Tamil family to D.C. Vardarajan, a retired police officer and Andalu Pillai. Before entering into film, sir pursued in his MBBS at Madras Medical College and practiced from Chennai. Sir made his Telugu film debut in 1985 with Vande Mataram. Since then, he has acted in variety of films in different roles. In a career spanning more than 30 years, he starred in blockbusters and the film Anna, which premiered at International Film Festival of India. And Roshika sir won two Filmfare Awards for the Best Actor in his entire career. He has acted in more than 75 movies. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, I am from Telugu family, settled in Tamil Nadu. Uh, one correction. Uh, second thing, I have done so far 91 films in Telugu. Thank you, sir, for information. A natural Waldorf school is worn by Rajashekar, sir, and Jeevita, madam. The school is affiliated to Dr. Rajashekar Charitable Trust and started in operation from July 2010. The mission of school is to impart non-commercialized education to students. I request Reverend Sister Lena, Office Administrator, to present sapling to our honored chief guests. Medicines can cure, but a good doctor's inspirational words can give the strength to fight from within. We cordially welcome our guest of honor, Reverend Sister Dr. Lalita, Health Counselor, Congregation of JMJ, Hyderabad Province. We request your sister to add on the dais. I call upon Ms. Catherine to escort the Sister Lalita on the dais. We welcome sister. Sister Dr. Lalita pursued her MBS from St. John's Medical College, Bangalore, and her DNB from St. Teresa Hospital, Sanat Nagar, Hyderabad. Sister is a DNB appraiser for the specialty of general surgery and DNB examiner for the final practical exam. Sister has also received Best Christian Doctor Award in 2017, a Chai person representing JMJ for Chai. Sister is a thesis guide for the postgraduates in the specialty of general surgery. At present, Sister is working in St. Teresa Hospital as a consultant surgeon. She is an efficient, dedicated person, demonstrates expertise and skills, and is available for patients round the clock. A hearty welcome to your dear sister. I request Sister Nirmala, Superior of St. Teresa Convent, to invite Sister Lalita with a sapling.
productivity is never an accident. It is always the result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. These quotes symbolize our esteemed guest of honor, Reverend Sister Shauri Treasure, Finance Counselor, Congregation of JMJ Hyderabad. We are privileged to have you in our midst as a guest of honor. We welcome you, Sister, onto the dais. I call upon Ms. Cheryl to escort Sister onto the dais. Sister Shauri Treza hails from Guntur, Andhra Pradesh, joined the congregation in 1971. She did her MCOM and work as a province procreator for long years. She was a principal, lecturer and superior at JMJ Inter and Degree College at Warangal. Sister was a general counselor for the congregation Netherlands and at present she is holding the responsibility of finance of the province as a counselor Hyderabad. She is a very approachable and meticulous planning, organizing, systematic in arranging whatever is planned. She is generous, guides and motivates the youngsters with keen interest. May I request Ms. Jansi Rani, MSc faculty to invite our respected sister with a sampling. A great principle builds character, inspires dreams, encourages creativity, builds confidence, instills a lot of learning, touches our hearts and changes our lives forever. Wonderful, hardworking, understanding, flexible, multitasker, constantly moving and indeed professional and a person whom the family of JMJ admire the most and is. It's our Reverend Sister Bandavi Sika, Principal, JMJ School and College of Nursing. Let's put our hands together and welcome Sister to Adon the Dayas. Sister's presence gives confidence and motivation. We are privileged to have you as our strength sister. Hearty welcome. May I request Ms. Uh, Sravani, MSc faculty, to greet sister by giving a sapling. Generous people are hard to find and such a case personality is our respecter, Ms. Sarala, Sarala Sharla Madam, Senior Faculty, Professor, Head of the Department of Community Health Nursing. We welcome you, Madam, to adorn the dais. I request Ms. Bini to escort the Madam to the dais. I request Sister Anita Librarian to greet Madam by giving a sapling. At the end, I take this moment to welcome all the faculty, graduates, parents, benefactors and well-wishers who have come from the far and near to attend the convocation ceremony. I wish you all the best wishes and good stay with us. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for your warm welcome. Now, I am profoundly privileged and honored to invite our President, Reverend Sister Mukta Kes, Provincial Superior, to address the gathering. Sri Dr. Rajshekar Garu, 
chief guest of today's function, Reverend Sister Shauri Teresa, Provincial Counselor in charge of Finance, Reverend Sister Dr. Lalita, Counselor in charge of Healthcare, Dear Fathers, Sisters, Parents of our graduates and my dear graduates, good evening to all of you. I feel privileged to be here and to be the part of the program on this significant event. Let me at the outset congratulate all the MSc, BSc and GNM students who are graduating today. Someone has rightly said, a nurse is one who opens the eyes of a newborn and gently closes the eyes of a dying man. It is indeed a great blessing to be first and last to witness the beginning and the end. Yes, my dear nurses, this is a moment of great joy and satisfaction in your life. And we are all here today for one reason, to celebrate and acknowledge that one journey is ending just as another is about to begin. You are the future and hope of our country. You are ready to serve our country with the education and training you have received at JMJ School and College of Nursing. As nurses, you are going to make an impact each single day in the lives of the people. We do realize that you are the wise of the wiseless and the advocates for those who cannot advocate for themselves. My dear nurses, you must remember the greatest disease today is not a cancer or a TB or any other physical pain of the diseases but it is being unwanted, unloved, and uncared for. We can cure physical diseases with medicine, but the only cure for loneliness, despair, and hopelessness is tender, loving care. So today, it is in your shoulder rest the future of this noble profession. And this convocation is the biggest event in your life as you graduate from formal education and leave the portals of your alma mater. I wish good success in your healing mission. You will do well. It, it is good to know some of the practical tips as you are going to enter in the new mission that is the healing ministry. Don't be anxious about your future. Learn to live in the present. Your future will be the outcome of, for your action in the present. Don't brood over the past. You can undo what has already taken place. Do not be afraid of failures. Let failure be the source of learning. Trust yourself. We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine and create a better future. Be a lifelong learner. 
it is never ending process as you learn new things from your occupation and imbibe other qualities from your life experiences and on this occasion i also congratulate our dear sister bandvi the principal and the team of sisters and the staff for your committed services and preparing the students for this beautiful profession in conclusion nursing as florence nightingale would tell you is a noble profession it is all about caring self sacrifice and i say whole lot of patience so my dear nurses try to imitate the qualities of nightingales and be a wounded healer to many in the world i wish and hope that your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles to the highest of your hopes to the windows of your opportunities thank you god bless you congratulations to all of you thank you sister for your valuable message may we request a honorable chief guest shri dr rajeshekar varadarajan garu to address the gathering with his thought provoking words me andarki namaskaram i am not uh, i am not good in english i am not uh, fluent in english to give a speech so you i i hope you all understand telugu very well okay so let us have it in telugu so me andarki namaskaram ikkada principal gariki ఇంకా ఉన్న అంద అంతమంది పెద్ద పెద్దలకి అందరికీ నమస్కారం మెసేజ్ ఇవ్వాల అన్నారు సో మెసేజ్ ఇవ్వాలంటే ఎలా ఊమ్ వి విల్ చూస్ ఫ్రంట్ బెంచ్లో ఉన్నవాళ్ళు వెరీ స్టూడియస్ పీపుల్ని పిలిచి ఓ మెసేజ్ ఇవ్వండి అని యూజువల్గా అదే జరుగుతుంది నేను లాస్ట్ బెంచ్ స్టూడెంట్ సో నన్ను పిలిచి మెసేజ్ ఇవ్వండి అని చెప్పినప్పుడు నేను ఫస్ట్ ఈ కాలేజ్ ఫంక్షన్ కాన్వకేషన్ అన్నది ఇంతసేపు ఇంత వెల్ డిసిప్లిన్గా ఉంటుంది అని నేను అనుకోలేదు డీప్ ఆలోచించుంటే ఇదంతా అనుకునేవాణి నేను ఎస్కేప్ అయిపోయేవాణి ఇక్కడ వచ్చి ఓపిక కావాలి పేషెన్స్ యూ నీడ్ పేషెన్స్ అండ్ నేను ఫస్ట్ ఓకే ఇది నర్సింగ్ కాలేజ్ అందరు అమ్మ అమ్మాయిల కాలేజ్ ఈవెన్ జీవిత కూడా రాలేదు జాలీగా వెళ్దామని వచ్చాను వస్తే ఒక మిలిటరీ రెజి రెజిమ్ లోపల వెళ్ళినట్టు ఫీల్ అయ్యాను అందరూ మిలిటరీ ఆఫీసర్స్ వీళ్ళందరూ అయ్యో ఇంత స్ట్రిక్ట్గా ఉన్నారు ఇలా ఉన్నారు అని నేను నిజంగా వాట్ ఐఎమ్ ల్యాకింగ్ సో మెసేజ్ ఇవ్వడం కాదు మెసేజ్ నేర్చుకున్నా ఇక్కడి నుంచి యా ఆ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ పోస్ట్లో ఉన్నవాళ్ళు దే హ్యావ్ టు బీ లైక్ దాట్ సరే ఫస్ట్ మిలిటరీ స్కూల్కి వచ్చామంటే తర్వాత మిలిటరీ యూనిఫామ్ కూడా ఇచ్చేసారు సో నేను నేర్చుకున్నాను అప్పుడప్పుడు ఇలాంటి ఫంక్షన్స్ అటెండ్ అవ్వాలి మనము ఇంకా డిసిప్లిన్గా ఉండాలి నేను డిసిప్లిన్ తక్కువ జీవితాన్ని పెంచడం కూడా అలాగే 
నన్ను ఏమి స్ట్రిక్ట్గా ఉండదు సో నేను నాకు ఇద్దరు ఆడపిల్లలు ఇద్దరు ఆడపిల్లలు వాళ్ళిద్దరు కూడా ఇప్పుడు హీరోయిన్స్ మా సినిమాలు యాక్ట్ చేస్తున్నారు సో వాళ్ళని నేను ఎలా పెంచానంటే వాళ్ళ ఈ టైం పడుకోవాలి ఈ టైంకి లేవాలి అన్నది కాదు మీ ఇష్టానికి పడుకోండి మీ ఇష్టానికి లేవండి కానీ మీరు ఏం చేయాలో అది మాత్రం యూ డివైడ్ అకార్డింగ్ టు యువర్ కన్వీనియన్స్ అండ్ డూ ద జాబ్ అన్నట్టే నేను పెంచాను కానీ వాళ్ళు బాగా పెరిగారు కానీ ఇంత డి ఇంత డిసిప్లిన్ అన్నది మా ఇంట్లో మా ముగ్గురికి తక్కువ అంటే నాకు మా ఇద్దరు అమ్మాయిలకి జీవిత వెరీ డిసిప్లిన్ ఎందుకంటే సీఈస్ ద అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటర్ పొద్దున లేచిన నుంచి అన్ని ఇంటి విషయాలు ఇంకా ఫినాన్స్ మ్యాటరు ఇంకా మమ్మల్ని ముగ్గురిని చూసుకోవడం నా సినిమాకి ఏంటి ఏమి అని చూసుకోవడం శివాణి సినిమాకి శివాత్మిక సినిమాకి అన్ని పనులు ఆవిడే చేస్తారు ఇలా ఇలాగనే వెరీ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ అండ్ వెరీ డిసిప్లిన్ సో ఈ కాలేజీకి రావడం నాకు చాలా ఆనందంగా ఉంది ఇంతమంది ఫ్యూచర్లో అందరు నర్సెస్ నర్సెస్ అంటే మా బాగా ఇలా మర్సీ చూపించే వాళ్ళు అంత ఓపికగా మదర్లీ సిస్టర్లీ అఫెక్షన్ ఇచ్చేవాళ్ళు అయి ఉండాలి సో మీరందరూ కాబోయే నర్సెస్ ప్లీజ్ లవ్ ద పేషెంట్స్ అండ్ లవ్ యువర్ జాబ్ మనం ఏ పని చేసినా అది ఇఫ్ వీ లవ్ అండ్ డూ ఇట్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ వండర్ఫుల్ హెవెన్లీ అండ్ ఆల్సో వెరీ ఈజీ టు ఒక లైఫ్లో బోర్ కొట్టదు మన ఏ జాబ్ని లవ్ చేస్తామో ఆ జాబ్ వెళ్ళేదే మన టైం తెలియదు లైఫ్ అంతా హ్యాపీగా ఉంటుంది సో లవ్ యువర్ వర్క్ లవ్ యువర్ జాబ్ అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ యువర్ ఓన్ డిసిప్లిన్ ఎవరెవరు ఎలా పెరిగారో ఎలా ఉండాలనుకుంటున్నారో అలా ఉండండి ఇప్పుడు అందరూ మనం ప్రతి ఒక్కరు మెసేజ్ ఇచ్చి ఉంటారు మీకు తెలియని మెసేజ్ అనేదే లేదు పొద్దున లేస్తే వాట్సాప్లో మనం రాని మెసేజ్ అనేదే ఉండదు అన్ని మెసేజ్లు ఉంటాయి అన్ని మనకు తెలుసు కానీ మనం చెయ్యింది ఒకే ఒకటి ఏ మెసేజ్ని మనం ఫాలో చేయము అది ఫాలో చేస్తే వీ విల్ బీ గ్రేట్ సో ప్లీజ్ ఫాలో దోస్ మెసేజెస్ ఇంకా నేను ఏం చెప్పాలో నాకు అర్థం కాలేదు సంతోషం అందరినీ కలవడంలో నేను లాస్ట్ బెంచ్ స్టూడెంట్ అయినా నేను ఇప్పుడు ఒక మంచి డాక్టర్ని అంటే నేను కంటిన్యూస్గా డాక్టర్ అయ్యి యాక్టర్ అయ్యాను కానీ డాక్టర్ జాబ్ని ఎప్పుడు వదలలేదు మా ఫ్యామిలీ అందరికీ జీవితాకి పిల్లలకి ఏ డాక్టర్ దగ్గర వెళ్ళి కలవరు చూడడానికి అవకాశమే ఉండదు ఐ విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ గుడ్ ఇన్ మెనీ మెడిసిన్స్ ఇన్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఐ హోప్ ఐ విల్ ప్రాక్టీస్ సో అప్పుడు లెట్ మీ టెల్ యూ మోర్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఐ డూ సో వెరీ నైస్ మీటింగ్ యూ ఆల్ గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ అన్నది ఇట్స్ రియలీ మన లైఫ్లో ఒక పెద్ద మైల్ స్టోన్ సో మీరందరూ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ అయ్యారు అందరూ ఆ సెరమనీ డ్రెస్లో ఉన్నారు విత్ ద క్యాప్ నేను క్యాప్ కూడా పెట్టుకోను మేడం అన్నాను సరే వదిలేయండి అని నన్ను క్షమించి వదిలేశారు సో ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ అ బ్యూటిఫుల్ డే వండర్ఫుల్ డే ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ సో కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద బెస్ట్ థ్యాంక్స్ for giving me this opportunity thank you
Thank you, sir, for your valuable and precious message. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Convocation is a formal acknowledgement to your development and a time to reflect on your accomplishments. It is filled with symbolism and tradition. Your participation will define your place in history with other scholars and academics who have similarly assembled for centuries. Convocation ceremony is a capstone of your entire educational experience. Now we ask the graduates to rise and we request our admirable principal, Reverend Sister Bandavi, to present the candidates to our chief guest, Sri Dr. Rashika Vartarajan Garu, to commence the convocation ceremony. I present to you Dr. Sister Lalitha, this group of candidates who have successfully completed their academic course and are found to be fit to be conferred MSc Nursing and BSc Nursing degree of KNR University of Health Sciences Warangal and Diploma in General Nursing and Midwifery of the Board of Examinations for GNM Government of Telangana. Do you attest the candidates that they have fulfilled all the requirements of the prescribed Indian Nursing Council and KNR University of Telangana for the conferring of degree and diploma for these candidates? Yes, I do attest that they have completed as per INC syllabus. Dear graduates, do you sincerely promise and declare on receiving the degree that you will fulfill in your daily lives and conduct yourselves as worthy members of this noble profession of nursing? Do you promise that you will support and promote the cause of morality in the practice of your profession of nursing? Do you promise that you will, as far as it lies within your capacity, to uphold the dignity of human rights in care of the sick and promotion of well-being of your fellow beings? Do you promise that you will faithfully and carefully fulfill the duties of nursing profession and maintain its dignity? I now declare open the 8th Convocation of JMJ College and School of Nursing. Winning has only value for ego but participation has a value for life. Now we proceed with the awarding of certificates to the graduates. May we now request a honorable chief guest, Sri Dr. Raj Shekhar Vardarajan Garu, to present the certificates to our students. We invite Associate Professor Mrs. Rajni to call MSc graduates onto the dais to receive their certificates. I request Mr. Ricky Raju to come on to the dais. Miss Sunita T. 
Miss Anusha, Miss Durga, Miss Meera, Miss Indu, Miss Jansi Rani. Miss Sunita Miss Ravani Miss Ashwini Sister Prabhavati Sumati Saundarya G. Sirisha Joseph John Miss Shruti Miss Sipora సో నేను రావడానికి ఒక కారణం శిరీష గారు కూడా ఆవిడే ఒక క్యాటలిస్ట్గా ఉండి ఈ ప్రోగ్రాం రావడానికి బాంధవి గారిని ఆవిడని అయితే తీసుకొచ్చి మమ్మల్ని పిలిపించారు సో థ్యాంక్ యూ నవ్ ఐ కాల్ ప్రొఫెసర్ మిస్సెస్ ఝాన్సీ రాణి టు కాల్ ద బిఎస్సి గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ ఆన్ టు ద డయస్ I request graduates to receive the certificates. Ms. Sakarla Mamata. Ms. Pinsi Matthew. Ms. Rabina. Ms. Aditi Rani. Ms. P.L. Megana. Ms. Chandana, Ms. Josina, Ms. Anita. And next graduates from 2016 batch, FIBA, Ms. Amala, Ms. Ashley, Ms. Nainika Ms. Pooja Ms. Vinila Ms. Prasuna Rani Ms. Anusha Ms. Jayashri Ms. Satyavati Ms. Sona Saji Ms. Simi Paul Ms. Anjana Matthew Ms. Alisha Ms. Adbuta
And next, graduates from 2017 batch, Ms. Kripa Sen, Ms. Viveka Vardini, Ms. Sai Sharani, Ms. Harishta Bharadwaj, Ms. Sharon, Ms. Jeffrey, Ms. Krishna Veni, Ms. Yunis, and Ms. Nisi. And next from GNM batch, Natasha. Thank you. Humbly request Reverend Sister Bandavi, our principal, to recite the pledge to our graduates. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with dedication. I will serve mankind with love and compassion. Recognizing their, recognizing their dignity and rights, irrespective of color, caste, creed, of color, caste, creed. Religion, and religion and nationality. I will endeavor, I will endeavor. to maintain up-to-date knowledge, up knowledge and skills to uphold standards of nursing, to, uphold standards of nursing. to individual, to individual. Family, family, and community. In all settings and in aspects of holistic care, as a member of the health care team, I will hold in confidence personal matters of my clients, committed to my care and help them to develop confidence in care rendered by me. I will refrain from any activity that will harm my personal and professional dignity as a nurse. I will actively support my profession and strive towards its advancement. I will fulfill my responsibilities as a citizen and encourage change towards optimum care. We hope you all will comply with the pledge and practice throughout your professional life. Now we request the graduates to take their respective seats off the dais. Like a fire, shed up in my bones I want the world to know you are God With a passion burning deep within I want the world to know that you live Your precious 
come and saturate every part of me. Make me new. Let your spirit come and move it in. Fill me once again. Cause I need more. Jesus, I'm desperate. May we now request our principal. Reverend Sister Bandavi to present a memento and token of love to our chief guest, Dr. Rajashekar Vardarajan Garu. A Honorable Chief Guest Shri Dr. Raj Shekhar Vardarajan Garu to present the token of love and memento to our dignitaries. President Reverend Sister Mukta Kes, Provincial Superior. Shauri Teresa. Reverend Dr. Sister Lalita. Bandavi, Principal JMJ College and School of Nursing. <music> Professor, Mrs. Sarla Sherla. and all the dignitaries. Now we request Reverend Sister Mukta Kes, Provincial Superior, to do the honors by presenting the mementos to our best outgoing students and Reverend Sister Bandavi to declare the names. I am privileged to call upon the best outgoing students of the batches. Though some of them have not reported, but those who are present, they are privileged to receive this honor. Reverend Father Matthias Wolf Gold Medal and Cash Award. The Society of Jesus Mary Joseph was founded in 1822 by Reverend Father Matthias Wolf, a Jesuit priest and a charismatic leader who allowed himself to be inspired and be guided by the Holy Spirit to work for the liberation of the suppressed Catholics of his time in Netherlands. He also had a strong zeal for the education of women. Signifying his work, JMJ has been presenting the award on his name to the best outgoing student of the year 
1820 for the MSc student, which goes to Miss Meera A R, MSc Nursing, 1820 batch. Now, Sri Udumala Joji Reddy Award. Sri Udumala Joji Reddy is the father of Sister Vijay Udumala, former principal of JMJ College and School of Nursing. Now, she is the general counselor of CJMJ at Rome. This award is given in the loving memory of Sri Udumala Joji Reddy Garu. The award goes to the best outgoing student, Ms. Sirisha G, MSc Nursing, 1921 batch. Award goes the Shilpa Gold Medal and Cash Award. Dr. Anubama Chaudhary is the close associate and the award is being given in the loving memory of her daughter Shilpa. The award goes to Ms. Yes Mamata, B.Sc. Nursing, 15th to 19th batch. are being given to Rajashri Mandal, Blessi, Alur Jija, Silpa and Niyati. All these students are not able to come for this convocation since they are far away places. We congratulate them on their, on, in their absence. Thank you, sister. May we now request our beloved Reverend Sister Lalita to enlighten the gathering with her much awaited words of wisdom. Dear graduates, this day is yours, a great memory in the lane of your future. I now would like to travel with me to the lane that we have traveled so far. So in the olden days we have fire. We used to have lamps in our houses. Now no lamps we see, only electricity. And we used to see trains running on the charcoal. Now we see they run on the electricity. We used to have big, big x-ray machines in the hospitals. Now we have smaller ones which are mobile, can be taken to any ward, any place. And we have ECG machines which were fixed before, now in the chip form in the, in the uh, watch itself. There are so many changes. The technology is improving day by day, replacing many professions. But when it comes to nursing profession, no technology can replace it. So you have chosen that great profession of nursing. So dear graduates, your care is louder than any sound in the world. Your compassion is more wider than the ocean. So today, as you launch into the mission, the future of healthcare mission in India and abroad, I wish you all a happy life, a blessed life. Have a nice day and nice future. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for your influential and encouraging words. May we now request Reverend Sister Dr. Lilita to award the postgraduates for their academic excellence. And we request Professor Mrs. Sarla Sharla to call out the names of the awardees. Good evening to one and all. It's uh, time to celebrate the hard work of our beloved students. 
I, Sarla Sherla, Professor, uh, calling upon the ex uh, academic excellence students of today's, uh, who received the awards on the stage. Uh, MSc program, 2017-2019 batch, who received the awards. Now I will call upon Hilary James. She got first prize. Second prize goes to Monica. Third prize goes to Saroshni. I think uh, the three students were absent for today's convocation because they are away from the places. MSc Nursing 2018-2020 batch. First prize goes to Meera. Please come on to the stage. Second prize goes to Ashwini. Third prize goes to Durga. This batch has third prize to students. Sister Pravati also got third prize. Nursing 2019 to 2022. First prize goes to Sirisha. Second prize goes to Suprabha. Third prize goes to Struti. PSC Nursing Program 2015 to 2019. First prize goes to PL Meghana. Second prize goes to Sharon Mary. Third prize goes to Mamata. And also Bincy Matthew. Batch. First prize goes to Rajasri Mandal. Second prize goes to Sipi Paul. Third prize goes to Sona Sajji. BSC Nursing 2017 to 2022 batch. First prize goes to Sister Shale. Second prize goes to Jaffrey Kuriyat Kos. Third prize goes to Unis. GNM Nursing 2015 to 2019 batch. First prize goes to Blessy. Second prize goes to Varshaba, Lata Varshaba. Third prize goes to Vargis, Binu Vargis K. The students who got the awards, please come forward to receive the awards from our chief guest. GNM Nursing 2016-2020 batch. First prize goes to Kavita. Second prize goes to Chetri. Third prize goes to Sija. Thank you. Thank you, sister, sir, and madams. Congratulations to all the prize winners. May we now request our guest of honor, Reverend Sister Shauri Teresa, to enlighten the gathering with her much awaited words of wisdom.
good evening everyone we are happy and proud that the hall here is full of happiness and rejoicing because many of you are graduating and going out of the portals of jmj this is just because of the hard work and the professional work of our own management here sitting and also the staff without you i don't think the students those who are having received today the awards also the certificate for passing out the their msc bsc and gnm are proud to be launching into the world to serve whatever you have been learned in our portals so we congratulate every one of you and the profession of nursing is beyond every profession every profession is noble and moreover the nursing profession is noble because you are serving the humanity whom you see god in them because we read in our scriptures every human being is the replica of god so as you are going to serve either being a teacher or also being bedside or your skills are being used you are serving none other than god so when you are thinking and serving them think about god whom you are serving also think of your own family members if they are sick how you will be serving give the your skills to them so this is what we are asking of you as you are going out of our portals may god bless each one of you for your noble services that you will be extending to the humanity god bless you all thank you sister for your enthusiastic and zestful speech we offer a sincere thanks to all the dignitaries and request them to take the seats of the dais Dear audience, on this eve, you may yourself discover as the colors of the cultural feast unfold. We welcome you to cultural event. We dance for laughter. We dance for tears. We dance for fears. We dance for hopes. We dance for screams. We are the dancers. We create the dreams. Let's welcome our freshers for a spirited performances.
fabulous performance dance wo kala nahi jise seekhna zaruri hai balki ye wo kala hai jise mehsoos karna zaruri hai there are shortcuts to happiness and dancing is one of them now i would like to invite our bsc fourth year students for a mesmerizing dance Hello, Nere, do. 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 Hello, Nere, do.
నేను గాలి గోపురం నీవు ప్రేమ పావురం వచ్చి వాళ్ళే ఏ క్షణం డాన్స్ చేయడం చాలా బాగుంది కదా అవును బ్లెస్సి నాకు చాలా బాగా అనిపిస్తుంది కానీ ఏదో ఎంటీ ఫీలింగ్ అనిపిస్తుంది అదేంటి ఇన్ని చేశాక కూడా నీకు ఎందుకు అలా అనిపిస్తుంది ఏమో నాకు తెలీదు బ్లెస్సి కానీ ఏదో మిస్ అవుతున్న ఫీలింగ్ మాత్రం ఉంది gratitude is the quality similar to electricity it must be produced discharged and used up in order to exist at all may i now request mrs prasanna associate professor to give away a formal vote of thanks
thanks with a grateful heart. Gratitude is the inward feeling of kindness received. Thankfulness is the natural impulse to express that feeling. Thanksgiving is the following of that impulse. Good evening everyone. Every special moment comes to an end and this occasion is not an exception. We rejoin to part and take home the memories of the best time. I am Mrs. C. Prasanna Lakshmi, MSc faculty. On behalf of JMJ School and College of Nursing, on particularly behalf of our 10th, 11th and 12th batches of MSc Nursing, 15th, 16th, 17th batches of BSc Nursing and 35, 36 and 37th batches of GNM students of JMJ School and College of Nursing. I feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a vote of thanks on this special occasion that have made this event such a grand success. I owe my sincere gratitude to the Almighty for this wonderful evening and for His abundant graces showered in each and every moment of this evening's celebration. Be kind, be thoughtful, be genuine, but most of all be thankful. Cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to us and to give thanks continuously. And because all things have contributed to our advancement, we should include all things in our gratitude. I extend our heartfelt thanks to Reverend Sister Mukta Kes, Provincial Superior, CJMJ, Hyderabad Province, for being the president on this special occasion and for your valuable presidential address. Thank you, Sister. Faith without thankfulness lacks strength and fortitude. My heart fills with lots of gratitude and respect for our distinguished chief guest, Sri Dr. Rajashekar Vardarajan Garu, MBBS, General Physician, Film Actor and Film Producer for conferring the degrees to our students and for setting the tone of the event through his insightful address by sparing his invaluable time for us to grace this occasion and made this event unforgettable. Thank you, sir, for being with us on this auspicious day. To speak gratitude is courteous and pleasant. To enact gratitude is generous and noble. But lo to live gratitude is to touch heaven. I am delightful to express our heartfelt gratitude to our guest of honor for Reverend Sister Shauri Teresa, Finance Counselor, CJMJ, gracing this occasion and for delivering an inspiring message and awarding our students. Thank you, Sister. My genuine and wholehearted thanks to Reverend Sister Dr. Lalita K., Health Counselor, CJMJ, and General Surgeon at St. Teresa's Hospital for her presence, guidance, encouragement, and awarding students. Thank you, Sister. There is an eminent personality amidst us who deserves our gratitude in abundance. She is a person throbbing with joy in service, vibrating love for the needy, and with a challenging vision for the future. She is none other than our dear Reverend Sister Bandavi Sika, Principal, who gives warmth to many hearts with her gentle and thoughtful deeds. She consoles and guides everyone who approaches her. An enormous cooperation to make the program a grand success. Thank you, Sister, for your care and love and for each one of us. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. I wish to express my wholehearted thanks to Mrs. Sarla Sharla, Madam, for your sup support and cooperation throughout the program. Thank you, Madam. I extend my deepest gratitude to Sister Lena, the office administrator, Sister Chinnama, hostel warden, Sister Anita, the librarian, Sister Nirmala, assistant professor, for your support and cooperation throughout the program. Thank you, sisters. I wish to express my wholehearted thanks to MSc, BSc faculty and non-teaching staff for their goodwill, support, cooperation and hard work towards the successful completion of this spectacular and amazing convocation program. Thank you all. I also take this opportunity to thank all the sisters, fathers, well-wishers, benefactors and all the parents for your valuable presence in this evening. Thanks to one and all. It is not joy that makes us grateful. It is gratitude that makes us joyful. I would like to thank Mr. Sunni for your assistance for the success of this event. I thank media members of Catholic Hub Channel for evincing interest in covering the event and all the good hearts behind the screen, sound system, lighting, committees, kitchen staff and all the students for their kind cooperation. I could be grievous, lapse on my part if I don't thank and congratulate our graduates 
it is a moment of great pride and satisfaction for you today your presence made everything possible and added glister and grandeur to today's magnanimous celebration jmj is proud of your achievement its alumni may god's blessing bring you success and many happiness shine upon you always thank you one and all have a pleasant full evening thank you ma'am for your words of gratitude to express the word of gratitude from the graduates i call upon ms jeffrin kuriakos to propose the vote of thanks good evening to one and all i take this opportunity to thank everyone present here starting from all our special dignitaries our parents who have come from a far distance and all the graduates and all the students here um i thought of starting uh, to say by quoting from google but then i thought it is not fair what i have learned from our college so what i have learned is what we learn is to be shown by our action so i would say that or i would like to start by saying that you have to show your gratitude from your actions when you go into a profession um i think um as i have started recently i feel that i have learned a lot from my college when i see other students uh, because uh, we have learned a lot from our college where our ma'ams have taught us in very in depth and uh, they do us also give counseling and uh, i feel that uh, we have also grown spiritually here uh, which is a very special thing about our college um i feel that four years have completed but still i am a part of this family and uh, speaking about today's occasion um i think that it is very important to thank all those who are behind this program who have put on such an effortless act to bring out such a big event and also to gather all the people here and especially i would like to thank my teachers and all my juniors who have received us wholeheartedly thank you thank you jeffrin for your gratitude we request the gathering to rise for the college anthem Called by the Lord are we? We belong to JMJ, the family of Jesus, a place of harmony. Called by the Lord are we? We belong to JMJ, the family of Jesus, a place of harmony. Like lotus flowers we, petals numerous, together we are one, arranging unison. Bring to all we serve, help in all its fullness. We stand for beauty, unity and wholeness. Called by the Lord are we, we belong to JMJ, the family of Jesus, a place of harmony. The cross of Christ has changed, bringing victory, banishing all pain. A heart full of love, burning flame of love. The word of God is power, the way for us to tread. Called by the Lord are we? We belong to JMJ, the family of Jesus, a place of harmony. We bring healing touch to all whom we serve. Committed we are in, caring for human. Hail and hold for glory to God's holy name. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, a band of nurses we called by the Lord are we. We belong to JMJ, the family of Jesus, a place of harmony. Called by the Lord are we. Called by the Lord are we. Called by the Lord are we. Called by the Lord are we.
I would like to announce all the faculty and tutors to come on to the dais to take a photograph with our chief guest. Close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams to a world that we design. 